Greetings, friends. I heard a term the other day on the news, virtual signaling. And I thought, I've never heard that before. I knew what virtual, you know, stuff is on the internet and in YouTube and, and uh, Zooms and so on. But virtual signaling. So I looked up the def definition and I found it in the Oxford Dictionary. And it was actually had a definition. That's what it said. The action or practice of publicly expressing opinions or sentiments uh, intended to demonstrate one's good character or moral correctness of one's position on a particular issue. And I thought, that's pretty cool. That's almost like a Christian thinking, you know, if you're, 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 you walk by faith and not by sight, you know, you walk in faith. Uh, you love the Lord and you do the thing that the Lord wants you to do. You live out your faith with action. You don't just talk the talk, you walk the walk, as people say. I guess that's what virtual signaling is. You walk the walk based on what you say uh, about your faith and your relationships and so on. Walk the walk. So, sounds great until, uh, you know, the rubber hits the road and you have to act out, uh, live out your faith. Now, there are great examples when Jesus was asked about virtual signaling in the Bible. And he gave a couple of great stories. One was about the prodigal son who went off to do his thing and came back and the father forgave him and threw a party because he, he was overjoyed that the son came home. And of course, the brother was a little upset. But the virtual signal there was, look, when somebody comes back repentant, you forgive them, you, you, you bless them, and you take them back in. You don't harbor unforgiveness and, and bitterness. There's another great story there. Uh, it was the Good Samaritan. You know, you had this guy beat up and then both a, a Levite and a priest go by and do nothing but the Samaritan, who was an enemy of the state, really, took the time not only to help the man, but, but took care of him and, and paid his way until he got recovered. The Good Samaritan. We all know the story about the Good Samaritan. So that's virtual signaling, too. You, you put into practice uh, what you believe. Now, I think we understand that. And we also understand the tension that arises up when things kind of, you know, go the wrong way, when the wheels kind of come off, when it's, there's too much tension or strife or the cost is going to be too great. Think about the, the, the Good Samaritan, the cost to, to give the innkeeper money to make sure all his wounds were taken care of and he fully recovered. You know, there's no insurance back then. He did it out of the goodness of his heart. He was signaling from his heart through his virtual action through the reality. Now, James addresses this in, in his book, James chapter two. And I want to read this to you because look, I think it's, it's healthy to understand what God says through his word to our ears. When I read the Bible, I look at it as God's mouth to my ears. So look at what James says. What good is it, brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith, but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes or daily food. If one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and well, well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? What good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by actions, is dead, is dead. Verse 18, but someone will say, uh, you have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. You believe that uh, there's one God? Good. Even the demons believe that. You see, what we say, it, it, it's got to be backed up with our action. The last verse, verse 20, you foolish person, do you want evidence that faith without deeds is, is useless? You want evidence? Well, the evidence is in the virtual signaling, how we put into practice what we believe. And as Christians, we're the light to the world. God has called us to be separated out from the world in order to be his light to a dark place. That through that light, people may be led into a relationship. And we have to sprinkle that light with our actions, with our good deeds, with the things that give evidence to the faith we have and share in Jesus Christ. Look, there are many other places in Scripture that address this. 
and James is just one of them. But again, let's go back to what I said a minute ago about walking the walk and talking the talk. You know, if we talk it, we got to walk it. That's our faith in practice that gives evidence to the reality of God. I love what it says about, you know, do you believe in God? So what? Satan believes in God. Let your life demonstrate your belief in God. All right. I hope this has been helpful. You want to reach out to me right, right now? Hit the comment button or go to my Facebook page. I mean, uh, my my uh, Paul Teske Ministries page on on, uh, on email and send, it, send me a message or a prayer request. I'll answer you. I'll get back to you. And again, I'm doing this for you because I want to try to help you uh, maybe see scripture in a different way and understand your your commitment to Christ and how you can live that out in a very positive way to the people around you. Amen? Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. And all God's people said, Amen.